Hey guys, Night Raven here, and it's time for some more um, Hydroneer. In today's episode, I'm just going to uh, dig in this property. I'm not. I'm not going to take the time and uh, dig in the other. Really? I didn't know that would phase into that. Today I'm... Well, for the next little while, I'm going to be working on this property. I'm not going to... I'm not going to be uh, digging up in the other property until I feel I've dug out enough of this property mainly because I dug in the last two episodes about the same amount of dirt from uh, this property out of that one and it said there's water under the dirt unless I'm looking in the wrong places there's nothing there's absolutely no dirt no water anywhere under the dirt. So I'm going to go back to digging up this property, trying to get as much uh, money out of this property as I possibly can. Even though technically this property was free. Hang on, I saw that. Can I even get that? Up, oh, I can. Okay, that, I see that. Oops. I think I'm starting to get to the uh, bottom along here as well. Okay. Going to start digging up this part that way. I can easily uh, move from that side to this side. Okay. I know I can technically use the uh, excavator thing to dig out a lot, but... Okay, that one's full. Oh, that one has not been touched. Damn it. Okay, uh, that one has not been touched, that one has, that one has, that one has not, like, when the time comes for me to start working on that other uh, property, what I'm going to do is, like, buy at least a dozen more buckets, dump them into that one, drive over there, dig up as much as I can, and then bring them all over to here. And, uh, start processing the dirt that way. Okay. Eventually, it's, it is going to get to the point I will not be able to jump over this part. I'm just going to end up falling back into here. Just like that. You know what? Maybe I should actually start digging from
maybe I should start digging from up here since it is going to take a uh, since it is going to technically get to a point I have to start digging from the top downward or else I am going to have a giant cave on my hands Like I don't, I do not want to be working at a giant cave because that means I'm not going to be digging up the resources, or well, any resources that I may get from up here. Oops. Eventually, I will be able to finally be done with this property. I have been digging here for a long time already. I want to move on to an, that other property, even though it, it, even though it does not have any water. You know, earn some money from that property. Even though I technically have already made my money back in the property from the uh, last two episodes from what I dug up. Like that excavator really cleared out a ton of dirt. Like I probably made enough money to uh, buy at least the... Uh, middle-sized property on the uh, on the uh, island uh, on the other island whatever thing If I can dig that part up. Only one way to find out. Well, after I am done sorting this stuff out. It's trying to get to the point they are falling down the hole the holes that I dig and I have to retrieve them all over again. <sighs> okay, uh, two more. I sort of wonder if I should start digging this side out a little bit more. That way I can move that to this side. And I don't have to uh, worry about uh, running around. Like running this way around all the time. I mean technically I still have to go through the... Uh, go around this part, but... Okay, that's done. Turn that off. Any Cloutium? No. Gold. Nice. And, uh, the iron. How much stuff is clogged there? Quite a bit. 
Time to get the hammer. Nope, cannot reach the hammer from there. Okay. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, some stuff fell, but there. The rest of it has fallen now. There. There we go. How is Why did that fall over here? I wonder if that was from last episode. I know a few uh, gold ore chunks and iron ore chunks went flying last episode. Okay, that's all the shards, there we go, and now for the gems. I'm not going to pre compress them down just yet. I want to do this at least once more before uh, ending the video. Filling the buckets up. Uh, I know it takes a while, it's just, I don't want the episode to end here just yet. Yep, yeah, off. Okay, how many do I have? Seven and seven. Okay. Right. I should really move that closer. There. That way I can reach it a lot better from Maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe not. Oh, there. There we go. Let's see if I can actually shovel out this little spot here. Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, there's a other spot there. Okay. I think I know there's a little thing there but I just want to make sure that I am getting everything there now to make sure yep Got all of it. Now to start digging from the top downwards. That way I can finally start clearing out the dirt in this property a little more like evenly when I get to the uh, bottom of this uh, area. Okay. I also know the top proper, top of this property 
tends to not yield as much stuff, but... Okay, that still had enough room. One more. Okay, there. Trying to see how much stuff I can hit from this part. I know it probably will not be as much, but oh. I know I will at least get some stuff. to remember which bucket to grab because they are falling over and they uh, they are not completely empty Also have to figure out how much stuff there is on that side yet as well after I finish with this property. This one. Okay. There. I know I technically could have scrapped these things at the scrapyard, but uh, the, the way the other property is, if I do find water, at least I have the pipes with me, and I can just, eas just as easily set something up to, uh, uh, you know, use water for that property, but... Like set something up like this and it requires a few more pipes to get everything connected because it would be kind of ridiculous uh, scrapping all scrapping those pipes and then finding out oh oops I needed those pipes after all I have to buy more of them okay no Stuff stuck there. I should I should check anyways, just in case. Just in case there are stuff here stuff stuck here and I couldn't see it. Just to make sure there was everything out of the machine. There. Okay. One shard. Eh, I won't melt that down. Uh, maybe I will since technically 
I got no uh, Cloutium this time. Like I said, I knew I would not get much Cloutium or any of the other stuff because it's the surface and uh, surface dirt and surface dirt tend to yield less. This in, and this one in, turn this on, there we go, <sighs> yep, oh, you know what, let's actually make a few things today, since If we can balance this here without oh, this is going to take a while to get it to balance on here. There we go. There we go. Uh, anything that requires gold here. Uh, oh, that does. Let's actually Why does that uh, count? Finally, then take this and this over here. Where's the uh, there? Okay, bring these over. I want to at least make a sword or two. Just to uh, get through at least you know some of the iron that I I have collected up here. <sighs> That's quite the price for a. For a necklace, I also know it's going to be. I know that. Is this more expensive or the other one? I can't. Okay, so if I make two swords, it's three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe a sword and an axe. That way I end up with roughly the same amount. this over 
since I'm going to be putting all the money together anyways, I'm going to sell everything all up at once. Okay, it was a sapphire that was more expensive since it did not go up that much. Okay. Axe first. Since I don't know which ones I made first, I'm going to just... I want to make sure I have the same amount of iron and gold after I'm done with this. <sighs> Making swords and axes and daggers in this game are a lot easier because you don't have to balance the uh, gem on the uh, anvil. But it's unfortunate that the axe tends to fly off when you uh, make them. Okay. 411 hydro coins for that. 740 for that. Someone fifty four. It might be the gold in that the prices are not that uh, there. Now for a sword. I want to at least use up majority of my Iron and gold because I have been saving up quite a bit already. <sighs> I know I probably will not get enough money to buy uh, that third property worth 6,000 hydro coins, but. I know I should really be saving up for that. Oh. There we go. There. sword was about 700 hydro coins at least if it went from 2000 something to 2800 uh, there we go that's why I know I got everything together huh I do have enough for that new property Not new, new, but the 6,600 uh, Hydro Coin property. Um, I will, I will get that property some other day. I, I'm still a little, a little frustrated over that first property I decided to try buying. <clears throat> also, this is. Definitely a good stopping point. This episode has gone, I feel, gone on long enough, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode anyways. You know, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching. Until the next episode. Bye!